Well, it's good, everybody. Timeless Traveler here, and welcome back to another Seed Showcase. You read that title right. We are doing something a little different for the Seed Showcase. So I had this idea of what happens if we take our some of our favorite well-known Minecraft YouTubers and turn them into Minecraft Seeds. So in today's episode, we're going to be going over Mumbo Jumbo as a Minecraft seed. Now, of course, before we take a look at what Mumbo Jumbo would look like as a Minecraft seed, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoy this and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, slap that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all future content. Now, without any further ado, let's explore this seed. Now, this seed has a decent bit of biome diversity, all somewhat in a relatively close distance from each other. I'd say about 2,000 blocks or so in every area, you're going to get a good amount of biomes. And we already start off kind of on the edge of some islands on a bit of a peninsula here. You can see that we have a couple different tree variants. We have a nice, vast open ocean right here. And with that, you're going to come across a few different ocean monuments. I will highlight one in particular later on in the video, but just keep that in mind. There are plenty of monuments. We also have the extreme hills. So you can go mining for your emeralds. And then over here we have some more forest and then we have some bits of more desert over there. But let's go take a look at a few more points of interest real quick outside of the spawn area. And for anyone that has been watching my Let's Play series, um, you know how important a jungle biome is to me. So I had to include this in the seed. So we have ourselves, we're over here in the far northeast, not too far, about 5,000 blocks from spawn, maybe 6,000. We got some more extreme hills. We got a bit of a, a taiga over there. We got some jungle edges. We have a nice deep lush jungle forest over here with a jungle temp temple. And of course, coordinates for all these locations were going to be down below in the description. But we got plenty of nice jungle for all of your wood, for all of the greenest of green grasses. Um, and of course, the most adorable pandas and parrots. Now, that was actually the farthest roughly that we would be in this seed for the points of interest that we're showing you today. But as you take a look at our corners, we're actually at the far spawn is just right over there. Yeah, you just swim a little bit, build yourself a boat and just paddle on over here. You're going to come across a nice little shipwreck with some loot and, uh, you know, just a nice little decorative thing. And then, of course, like I mentioned, we have the stronghold. There are many, many strongholds off to the northwest. Um, once you reach the ocean, but this is the closest one. So you'll have access to, uh, uh, you know, once you get your obsidian, you can create yourself your guardian farm, create your XP farm, harvest your prismarine and all that stuff. Not too far from our spawn point and traveling a bit more north from that stronghold over there. If we go just a little bit further, about 300 blocks, not too far away, we come across this amazing Mesa or Badlands area where we got ourselves all different types of terracotta and of course for those that don't know the mesa biome is perfect for that early game gold mining because they do spawn at such a high y level let's see if we can find some real quick as soon as i uh so okay so we're at 63 this is 62 right there that's that's not too bad but we can usually go higher but um this is the perfect biome for early game gold mining you will always come across lots and lots of gold in just a very short period of time within the Mesa biome. Now, journey now just a little northwest from the spawn, we're going to come across ourselves uh, for the first time I've seen this, at least. Uh, we got ourselves a nice underground ruined portal or underwater kind of ruined portal. We got ourselves a few different structures right here. But of course, the main thing of this area is this very large, sizable mushroom island. And what I like about this one, I mean, you got you got to do a bit of um, landscape and terraforming. You got to flatten some of this, fill in this water, because I mean, let's let's face it. Mushroom island water is <laughs> it's not attractive Um, that and swamp water. Um, I think I actually like swamp water better than this. But anyway, you know, it's relatively flat, so it's not too hard for people that want a nice, smooth uh, canvas to work with. And then we also got some hills over here. And so this one stands out a little bit more to me as well, because you'll see if you look at the terrain, we got a bunch of holes in here and these holes actually go down into some cave systems. So check this out. So all throughout, we just have these little explosions of, uh, of, of patches all here and there throughout the island. And 
you already have this intricate cave system. So after a bit of torch gathering, you can come down here and spend a day and come out with a good amount of minerals and materials. This has been requested before and I apologize for not being able to deliver it in the past. This one is a bit closer than in previous seed showcases that I've done, so I figured this is the perfect opportunity to bring it back. So we have ourselves the very rare ice spikes biome, really not too far from spawn. There's a few frozen oceans um, and some tundra, but um, throughout all that, there's there's this patch of ice spike and there's like one more that's not too far. We got ourselves a nice little village over there as well um, with some little huts. That looks really cool. I like I like the uh, the the wintry village, but the very rare ice spikes. So if you're not if you're not going near an ocean, you can just harvest all of this for your ice. Now, another great thing about biomes like this, for those that don't know, pro tip, um, when you get to the point where you want to farm for weather, weather skeleton skulls and make beacon factories and all that, this is a perfect biome for setting up that farm because in this biome, strays spawn. They spawn here and they spawn in frozen oceans. And this would be a little bit easier to build. Yes, you have to flatten things out, but you don't have to fill in the ocean and create a platform. But you can use this biome, create yourself your beacon factory, and just link up all your portals and just harvest strays. And then, you know, from there, create another farm to blow them up in the nether to harvest the wither skeleton skulls. So this is great for your ice and your wither skull farming. And you probably guessed it by now, of course, time for the stronghold. And of course, it is here in a village. So let me show you real quick how simple this stronghold is. So we're going to drop down here, take a look at the coordinates, and I'll also have them in the description. But here we go. I got the coordinates as well for the portal. If you want to just dig straight down to the silverfish spawner, that's going to be in the description as well. But we just drop down here, make a quick little turn. And of course, I already went inside to take a look at the end cities. However, this one showed up with two Eyes of Ender. So you will only need 10 Eyes of Ender to open up this portal. Last thing we got in the overworld is going to be one spawner, two spawner, three spawner. We got ourselves another triple spawner. We got two zombies and one skeleton. It's not ideal when it comes to early game loot, but early game XP, of course, is you, you're never going to turn down some you know, triple spawner XP. So upon request, we've got a couple things we're going to do in the nether. Uh, the first one, we're going to uh, take a look at this beautiful crimson forest, but also check the coordinates. We got ourselves a nice, let me, let me turn that down. That Those ghasts are one of the worst violent sounds I've ever heard in my life. Um, but anyway, so we have ourselves the Hogland Stables, which out of all the bastions to go through this one probably wouldn't be my favorite because simply because I use these for um, mining Blackstone, you know, late game, I come in here with a beacon and I just take all of it down. It's very clunky and there's all sorts of lava traps. So that's why it is very dangerous to do something like that. If you're using the Hogland stable, there are other ones that would be much better suited like the treasure rooms. Um, but you do have access to the treasure because those that don't know, the Bastions do have treasure. And one of the most important treasures in a Bastion is going to be your Soul Speed enchantment. So we can walk on Soul Sand without being slowed down. And last but not least, still in a Crimson Forest biome, um, we have, upon request, we have ourselves a Nether Fortress. Now, this one is one of the closest ones to spawn. We have ourselves a nice ruined portal with some nice uh, chains as well. But the main thing, of course, is going to be the Nether Fortress. Now, this one is a bit tricky because we are in the Crimson Forest. Um, that means we have piglins. Uh, you know, we, we've got the piglins running around doing patrols. We have the Endermen and also, we have the Hoglands, and even worse is that these spawners for our blazes are very much exposed. So you'll see that we don't have much cover. So if you have a goal of 
creating some blaze farms, you're going to have a bit more of a challenge with this one simply because they are a lot more open. Everything is more open with this fortress. Usually the ones I come across are a little bit more buried, but this one does seem to stick out more, which I guess for those that want to create a wither skeleton farm might be a bit easier because there's less to clear out. At the same time, you are more exposed to things like those nasty ghasts and hoglets. But everybody, that is going to be it for today's seed showcase. That is Mumbo Jumbo as a Minecraft seed, of course, on the Bedrock Edition. I hope you enjoyed today's tour of Mumbo Jumbo as a Minecraft seed. And, you know, for those that were wondering what he looks like as a seed, I hope this has answered your question. And also, of course, if you have any other YouTubers, it doesn't have to be Minecraft YouTubers, it could be anybody, anybody that you know that is a, a popular YouTuber or just a YouTuber in general, um, and you would like to see them as a Minecraft seed, let me know down below in the comments who you want to see, just, it could be anyone, just let me know, and I will, uh, I will take a look, I will explore what they look like as a seed, and I will let you know. And of course, if you enjoyed seeing this and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button, slap that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my future content. So until next time, you all take care, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.